What's up guys, welcome back to Latin Chopsticks. Thank you so much for tuning in. Guys, welcome to the last video of the year and I figured what a great way to end it by having some of what's supposed to be the cheapest smash burgers that you can get here in Orlando. There's a place that's called Cow and Cheese. It just opened on the 1st of December and I've been really excited and been really wanting to go, but I am the type of individual that based on my observations is my personal opinion. I try not to go within the first two weeks of a restaurant's opening um, with the exception of fluffy pancakes, which we went a couple, uh, I think a month ago or something like that because I I always want to try to make sure that I'm not going during the hype period where they're making sure everything's perfect. I like to go whenever things go back to regular, go back to normal. Technically hasn't even been its first month, but I do want to check this place out, see how it is. So let's go ahead and check out some of the cheapest smash burgers here in Orlando. Awesome, we are here, we made it. We are now in Cow and Cheese. This is, honestly, it looks absolutely delicious. One thing I did notice is that the patties are extremely thin, but they're nice, crispy with caramelized onions on them. They look absolutely scrumptious, delicious. I, my mouth was watering. I actually got the opportunity to go to the back as you guys saw in the introduction, and you get to see like the whole process of how it's cooked, and it just, it looked so, so amazing. Now guys, the first burger that we're gonna check out is called The Dock. It's the most expensive burger that they have on their menu. It is, I believe, $9, uh, alongside with their triple decker burger, the triple cow burger. So, but this one is special because it ha it's Oklahoma style. So let's go ahead and check this out. Okay, so this is the patty. You get them in these little tiny boxes. You have right here. You can see all that delicious caramelized onion. They have their CC sauce, the cow and cheese sauce, which is a special sauce that takes fish and eggs, but it adds a lot of umami flavor to the burger itself. You get two patties with the dock, but then like I said, in between the actual burgers themselves, I'm trying my best to not break it apart, you have more onions, more tea sauce, but yeah, enough talking. Let's go ahead and try this baby out. This is actually my wife's, but she's letting me try it out. All right, guys, Ooh, this is really messy. Guys, it was extremely messy. I just took one bite. The whole thing is falling apart because the mat patties are so thin. But it, the, man, I'm trying to remember the name. I watch a whole bunch of videos, but the Malliard, or I think it's the Malliard reaction on these burgers is insane because of the fact that they're so thin, the entire patty actually gets crispy. Then you have that delicious sweetness of the onions and the umami of the sauce. It all goes together perfectly, but that's the dock, that's the special burger. We're about to try out the regular uh, double-decker burger, and then I did order like the regular um, $5 pat one patty burger just to see how it is. So opening it up right away, it looks very similar to the other one, but you can already tell the addition of a bunch of cheese, but then you don't have those caramelized onions. Now, the beauty of this place is that you're actually able to add on whatever toppings you want if you choose to pay for it. So you have a lot of availability on customization on each of the burgers, but you guys, I mean, look at that. That is delicious. We're gonna go ahead and try this out. As mentioned, the outer edges are nice and crispy. You have an amazing umami flavor from the sauces. The cheese is creamy and salty, and you have like these little tiny crispy pieces that are on the outside with charred flavor. And then look at all that cheese on the inside. And despite the patty being so thin, look how much juices are coming out when I just slightly squeeze it. Oh my God, really, really good. All right guys, so now we're gonna go to the last burger. This is here is just the single. It's literally the same thing that I just had that I showed you guys. This one's only $5, so it's a dollar difference. Honestly, I would just get the double, but I did want to try to see, I mean, five bucks for a smash burger is one of the cheapest smash burgers you can get in Orlando. You can ask around. So let's go ahead and check this one out. Now this one's also pretty much the same as the other one. I mean, this one is even more obvious how crispy they got. Look at that sauce. Look at that cheese is like literally infused into the patty itself. Once again, I know and I will say that these are 2.5 ounces, so they're extremely thin. But the amount of flavor that they're able to fit into that patty because of the Maillard reaction is just phenomenal. Okay, so. This one is slightly bit drier because it's only one patty and it's still the same size bun, so that is something to keep in mind. But we went ahead and got ourselves something called their beer cheese sauce. We're gonna go ahead and just pour it into the burger in a second. We're gonna go ahead and try this out. I'm gonna move the bun over so I can record it, and then we're gonna try it. So as the name suggests, this right here is, like it looks like nacho cheese mixed with seasonings and beer. 
we're gonna go ahead and try this out and just kind of slowly pour it over that burger. I wanna save some because I wanna use this for the fries. But we're gonna go ahead and put that to the side. And let's go ahead and try that dry burger and let's see how it is now. And don't get me wrong, it's not actually dry. It's still juicy despite it being so thin, but it's one patty on a regular bun. I mean, that's expected. But now that we put that sauce in there, let's go ahead and try this out. Oh my God. So there's something that they sell in the supermarket. Not a lot of people know about it. I used to eat it a lot when I lived in Venezuela when I was a little kid, but I think it's called Cheese Whiz. And it's literally, it tastes just like that, but it's like the only downside to the one that you buy at the store is there's a lot of chemicals and stuff in it in order to make sure it doesn't expire or go bad. This on the other hand has the same flavor, but this is all made in house. And it's just, it is phenomenal. It's hard to explain or even describe it because it's so unique, but it's like, it's a cheesy flavor, but then there's so much depth into it that you can barely really taste the cheese. You just focus on that specific flavor that it has. But I would 100% suggest you guys to try it. Mm. I guess, and then the last thing that I ended up getting from the menu, it's a very simple menu, which I really like because then they could really focus on excelling the small amount of items that they sell, but it's the crinkle fries. These things have been sitting in that bag while I was eating the other burgers and trying them all out. And despite it, I don't know if you guys can hear it, these are still crispy. Mm. They're home cut here. Delicious flavors, nice and crispy. We're gonna go ahead and just dip it into that cheese sauce, and we're gonna go ahead and try that out and see how it is. Nice. Mm. I love crinkle cut fries. <clears throat> because of the wrinkles, that, the crinkles that it has, it holds onto sauces really, really well, so you don't have to worry about it dripping all over the place. Nice and crispy edges, and then when they put salt on it, they get stuck in the groove, so it has like a nice salty flavor. Mm. In all honesty, guys, very short video, but I really wanted to end the year with a burger. We've barely done a burger, and the last burger that we did was not very good. Yes, the chicken sandwiches were delicious, but the burgers were extremely dry. It was not worth it, especially considering the fact that we paid like $22 for one of them. With that said, I'm going to go ahead and finish the rest of these fries. I'm going to enjoy the rest of the time with my family and my wife. It's going to be a good time. 100% I would recommend it. As I mentioned before, you really do want to go ahead and enjoy this place as much as you can. If you're looking for an affordable smash burger that's delicious, but really cheap as well, 100% come to Cow and Cheese and visit. You won't regret it the service is great with that said as mentioned before this is the last video of the year guys thank you so much for everything we've grown quite a bit this year we've literally had over a thousand subscribers join and watch this channel this year alone which is huge for us um i there's you know i can't put into words the feelings that i have and how much appreciation i have for you guys for coming back every week and watching all of these videos week after week through the great ones through the let's be honest terrible ones when i've had so many camera issues before and this has honestly been quite a journey to learn how to do all this and try to make as best content as i can for you guys with that said i hope to have a wonderful next year i hope we can keep sticking together we can keep growing and hopefully the quality will keep improving we get to go to more amazing places because even though we've been at this for only almost three years, there's still a lot of places that we don't know. With that said, I will see you guys next year. And until then, let's just keep on eating.